We all know what it is we need to do. We just need a kick in the ass to do it. So guys, officially, this is your kick in the ass to do it. Time is flying by today, right now, while you're watching this video. You need to understand that if you haven't put the time into becoming a little better than you were yesterday, then you won't be better than you were yesterday. And if yesterday you weren't anything impressive, then why would you be tomorrow? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Must Become YouTube channel. My name is Spencer. Let's jump right into this video. Today, I want to remind you about something. I'm about to turn 28 next week. In some ways, I've gone really fast in my life. In some ways, I've gone really slow in my life. I had some traumas early in life where I lost loved ones due to very difficult situations. If you guys are curious, I can explain more uh, in other videos. Just ask me down below and I can tell you more of that kind of personal information if you're interested. But today is a little bit of a different video. I wanna come to you guys to give you guys a little bit of inspiration and remind you of something that is really important, especially if you're a young man, my age, a little older, a little younger, whatever. It's important to know this, it's important to remember this, and it's important to be inspired by this, even though it can be daunting sometimes. What I wanted to remind us all guys is that time flies by. We really cannot hold on to time. It's the only resource really that is always fleeting. We can't get any more of it and we need to treat it as the most precious resource. On this channel, I like to talk about, of course, productivity and discipline, stoicism, fitness, dieting, how to be a man. But guys, there's also the element of humbling yourself and recognizing that while you're grinding and you're becoming what you must become, it's not just about expanding your financial horizons, your physical horizons. It's also about your spiritual horizons and understanding that there is fleeting time. You do not have all the time in the world. Time is a resource that's dissipating at every second, literally. I wanna remind you this so this can feed further into your grind and help you become what you must become. I want you to understand that even though time flies by, this is something we can use to our advantage. If we every single day, or at least most days, take time to really build the things that are important to us, our relationships, our businesses, our physiques, our health, our knowledge, all these things, that each day that passes by, is another day that we've built that experience and we've put in that time, we've put in that work. If you find time every day to prioritize these things that will lead you to become the person that you must become, then they're gonna happen way quicker than you realize. I believe it's in the book Mastery that the author talks about how it takes roughly 10,000 hours to become a master in something. Now, that's if you wanna become a master guitarist or that's if you wanna become a master gymnast or that's if you wanna become one of the best business people ever. Now, how do we do this? It comes down to planning who you wanna be and back solving that. Who do you wanna be in five years? You know, if you wanna be that guitar player, okay, and it takes 10,000 hours, how many hours a day are you practicing? And I've spoken about the same thing in several videos in the past, but the idea is that for someone to really hear something once, you need to tell it to them seven times. And so here I am telling you the seventh time, reminding you guys that it's so important that you back solve and you set your goals because like I keep saying in this video, time flies by. The faster you can do that and you can find out where the bullseye is on your target, then every single day that's inevitably flying by is working for you to become that person and achieve those things. So when you're just in the middle of the shit and you just have so many things going, you're like, hey, well, what should I focus on? Do what's in front of you. What's the main thing that you know? What is the number one biggest goal and then what is the number two biggest goal, number three biggest goal? And you go in order and you don't go to the next one until you've accomplished the one before it. Let's say your number one biggest thing is you wanna lose weight. And you're just like, look, I wanna get my health in check. I wanna look better. I wanna feel better. I wanna perform better. If that's the number one most important thing, then what's right in front of you to do that? Get your ass to the gym. Get on a diet, stick to the diet. Understand the way nutrition works. And if you do that every day, there's nowhere for results to hide. There's nowhere for results to hide. If every single day this time is flying by and every day you're putting in the work, then eventually you've cornered the result. It's the same way you wanna grow a big bicep, you wanna grow wide shoulders, you wanna do something like that, you wanna learn a language. The bicep can't hide from you. At a certain point, if you're going in and working out consistently and you're giving your body the nutrition it needs, there's nowhere for the bicep development to go other than to your bicep. And 
Look, I'm not saying never enjoy yourself and always grind it every day. I'm just saying that whether or not you like it, especially if you're a younger man than myself, understand that the time is flying by. You might think it's gonna be there forever and you know, you live in this world where you've been for so long. This is a realization I had the other day, is that up until this point, really up until I got into business at maybe 23, 22, 23, up until this point, you've always been able to think about yourself in the future in a way where there's so many opportunities because people are asking you, hey, what do you wanna be when you get older? What do you wanna be when you graduate? What are you gonna do when you get out of school? Et cetera, et cetera. And it's kind of okay to not fully know. But the thing is, is time is passing every single day. And if you can at least put some time into thinking where you wanna go, you make sure you know where that bullseye is on the target and you do a small thing every single day to move yourself towards that target, then in two, three, four, five, 10, 15 years, you're gonna be in a place that you are so grateful you put that time in. Because like I keep saying, and I'm gonna say it over and over and over, guys, time is passing by. The clock is ticking every single day and one day will be your last day. And you wanna get there knowing that you're gonna be remembered. And why do you wanna be remembered? Because that means that people around you and yourself, you understand you did something great for the world. You left a dent in the universe and that's what this is all about is becoming the person that you must become so that you can have that crazy impact on the world that leaves such a huge, a huge memory that you'll be just appreciated for years for what you've done. When that happens, you really do enter into just the Humanity Hall of Fame. And again, that's what this is all about. It's about doing something so large, so much bigger than yourself that when that final day comes, you're not even very scared. You're okay because you know that you're gonna live on so much further than your physical body will. This might be a little bit more on the spiritual kind of philosophical side of things. So hopefully you guys are following me here, but that's really what this comes down to. Time is flying by. So do a small thing every day, find out what's in front of you. What's that number one biggest goal? And at the end of the day, we all know what it is we need to do. We just need a kick in the ass to do it. So guys, officially, this is your kick in the ass to do it. Time is flying by today, right now, while you're watching this video, you need to understand that if you haven't put the time into becoming a little better than you were yesterday, then you won't be better than you were yesterday. And if yesterday you weren't anything impressive, then why would you be tomorrow? So I'm gonna leave the video there guys. But again, please take this seriously as an action item. I say this in so many videos, but I'm gonna keep saying this. Do your best to spend some time away from your phone, away from a TV, away from anything. Go for a walk and really think about what your number one, number two, number three things are that you wanna have accomplished before you leave this earth. It's so important because then you can begin to strategize, okay, what do I need to do to get there? And then you can put that in your morning routine. Like I talk about my other videos, and you can do that every single day, little by little by little, and just build, little by little by little, build that foundation until you're just, you're something fucking massive. So guys, if you guys like the video, I know this one's a little bit deeper, but if you guys like this video, please leave me a like. It pushes it out in the algorithm to other people who need to see this stuff and we can grow our community, grow our resources and be able to talk to one another. Second, please subscribe to this video. I would hate for a video to come out that you need to see that you missed simply because the algorithm didn't recommend something to you because you didn't subscribe. And finally, leave a comment. I love talking with you guys. I love hearing your guys' ideas for what you guys would like me to talk about. Any personal questions you have for me or just wanna shoot the shit, do so in the comment section. I always respond. And then also hit that notification bell so again, you never miss a video. Once again, guys, my name is Spencer with the Must Become YouTube channel and I will see you guys in the next one.